Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for January 24th, 2023. Today is actually like a really beautiful day. The key to today is really letting yourself tap into your magic, tap into your spirituality, tap into your imagination, tap into the beauty of understanding the parts of your psyche and your spirit that you're releasing and turning into art and turning into progress and sharing it with the world, even if it's one person or just your own inner child or just you, right? Just letting yourself shine and create and be and expand. We have some very lucky aspects in the sky today. We have the sun sextiling Jupiter, and this is one of the luckiest transits that a person can get or use or tap into because when the sun is sextiling Jupiter, there's this beautiful interconnected ability of your desire to shine and your desire to expand. And when they come together, especially under this Aquarius sun that's inviting us to step outside of our old boundaries and to progress into more inclusive environment for ourselves and for others, then you can just let yourself just grow in these really beautiful ways. And if you uh, go into this space and into this energy with the energy, the energy of acceptance and exploration, it can surprise you in some really beautiful ways. We do have an emotional tension though, because the sun is in a semi-square with the moon. So there is like this murkiness, there is a sense of not being sure how, but revert back to your experimenting. We also have the moon sextiling Uranus and Mercury. So there's this beautiful ability to communicate, to connect, to express, to let yourself find those points those points of integration and those points of integration so that you can expand. Now, again, it's going to be uncomfortable because you're not used to it. We do have the moon squaring Mars. So there is this tension with how like people in your immediate circle may or may not respond to it. Or there's this awareness because it is the moon in Pisces of where connections have ended and it's time to go into new beginnings. Either way, right, because it is a Piscean moon, it can feel very deep. This is the final house of water and where you allow yourself to look at your psyche and see the murky waters, but also see the beauty and the tones and play with your pieces of life. You know, let yourself grow, let yourself love, let yourself expand and let yourself let go. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.